Let's begin here on page 1120, or page 11 and 12 of Pace 1125. And uh, in this lesson, we have only five problems, yay. Um, we're adding and subtracting fractions that have different rational denominators. They have variables in the denominators. We're trying to find a least common denominator. And then we can follow through. Now I was just looking at the score key and thankfully, they uh, show all the steps for these problems. So if you do get stuck with you and your parent or you and your supervisor, hopefully you can sit down with a score key and find uh, where he went wrong. But I just want to get these started and show you um, a couple of hints that might help. So this, if you think back, this denominator here is actually the difference of perfect squares because I can take 4x squared and take the square root of that and I'll have 2x, all right? So I could factor this denominator to be 2x minus 1 and 2x plus 1 because there's no middle term here. It's just the difference, subtraction. 1, of course, is another square term because 1 times 1 is 1. The square root of 4x squared is 2x. So we have 2x minus 1, 2x plus 1. Think about if we did the FOIL method to just check our work and make sure we got it right. We would do 2x times 2x is 4x. For the outer, I'd have positive 2x and negative 2x, and that's why it cancels out. And then negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. All right? Now let's look at this one. We have the quantity 2x plus 1. And we look over here, we say, ooh, 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 that's already there. All I'm missing is 2x minus 1. So with this problem here, I mean, our common denominator is going to be 2x whoop, minus 1 and 2x plus 1. So all we're missing is 2x minus 1, but we have to multiply the same thing top and bottom, just like we did on page 10. So we're going to take this term up here and multiply it times this, okay? Now be careful, we have a negative sign here. So what that means is after you get this and you do the FOIL method to distribute it all out, then this negative means each of those terms in there is going to change to its opposite. You're going to distribute the negative times all three of the terms that you'll get up here. So you'll have 4x squared plus 1, and then subtract all of the terms you're going to get from this, and then you'll simplify that, and it'll all be over this common denominator. Let's uh, see if we can decode this one a little bit. One of the first steps we should always do with these types of problems is look for a common factor that we can take out. So, for instance, here I can see that, oh, I can take out 2, and I would have x minus 1. You see that? Now, looking at this one, not only do they have a 2 in common, but they also have an x in common. So, I can factor out 2x and be left with x minus 1. You see that? <clears throat> you can check it, you know, do the FOIL method in your head real quick and see if you get that back again. Now these look very similar, but they're actually not exactly the same. So both of these have a 2 in common, they both have x minus 1. This one has an x, but this one doesn't. So our least common denominator is going to be 2x, x minus 1. So this actually is the common denominator, so I don't need to change this one. What's missing over here? The only thing missing to get from here to here is I need to multiply top and bottom by x, okay? So times x over x. <clears throat> we can multiply it down here, all right? So now I'll have the common denominator, and now when you multiply the numerators, okay, piece of cake, you can take it from there. Don't forget you have a negative here, and then you'll have to combine it with the like terms. All right, page 11, um, I mean page 12, only five problems. Like I said, if you get stuck 
and you just really can't figure it out, take a look at the score key and, and if you showed all your work, you should be able to see where you made your mistake. It might just be something small, like just a little negative sign. So don't feel bad. There's a lot of steps involved in these types of problems.